Okay, I want to talk about the division of fractions. I want to work out things like two thirds divided by five sevenths today. I want to get to that point. But actually, let me get to it in an easier way by first doing some mixed number divisions. For example, let's look at say two and a half divided by four and a half. Let's see if we can work that out. Now, as a sharing problem, it's kind of weird. I'm saying I've got four and a half students, one student, two students, three students, four students, and half a student. And I've got two and a half pies to share equally among them. One, two, and half a pie. My question is, how much pie is that per whole student? That seems crazy. That seems really hard to work out. All right, but we have some tools at our disposal, namely these tools, namely this tool in particular. I like, I like leaf number four. Because what I see here, what I don't like about this is all these mentions of halves. And one way to get rid of halves is to just double everything. All right, so let me show you what I mean. First of all, let's be really clear about the mixed numbers. They really have a plus sign in there. It's really two plus a half. This is really four plus a half. Okay, just be a little bit clearer there. And the way to get rid of halves, I want to double everything. By belief number four, if I double that top and I also double the bottom, nothing changes. It's still the same quantity. Great. And I can do that. I can do that. Two times two. Two doubled is four. Half doubled is one. Four plus one. Eight, four doubled is eight plus half doubled is one. Um, I went fast there. I'm actually really using this rule over and over again right now. But there it is. I can see it's actually five on the top, nine on the bottom, five ninths. Sharing two and a half pies for four and a half students is really the same as sharing five pies equally amongst nine students. Each student gets five ninths of a pie, a little bit more than half a pie. Bingo. Beautiful. That dividing mixed numbers seems to be fabulously fine. Unless I do a more complicated one, which I shall do. Let's try this one. Let's try seven and two thirds divided by five and three quarters. Whoa, whoa. So this is really a fraction because a fraction is an answer to a division problem. So this is really the fraction seven and two thirds over five and three quarters. Uh, let's be very clear about the mixed numbers. It's really seven plus two thirds. It's really five plus three quarters. And what I don't like about this is the mention of thirds. And I also don't like the mention of quarters. All right, so how am I going to make my life easier and maybe just get rid of mentions of thirds and get rid of mentions of quarters? Well, this will do it. If I don't like thirds flying, floating around, let's try multiplying the top and bottom by three because that won't change the quantity. So let me multiply that by three and multiply that by three. So on the top, I get seven tripled, 21, plus two thirds tripled, uh, three times two thirds. Well, if you recall, that's just this property here. Eh, eh, it's just two, bingo, plus two. Two thirds triple is two. Uh, on the bottom, I get five tripled, which is uh, 15, and I get three quarters, oh, three quarters tripled. Oh, now I guess I'm using this general, this principle here, multiplication, just the uh, numerator gets multiplied. That's nine fourths. Uh, that didn't go away. Oh, I didn't expect it to go away. That's quarters, got nothing to do with threes. All right, so right now, let me use some, well, I probably still got space. Right now, I've got 23 for the numerator, and I've got 15 plus nine quarters for the denominator. Ugh, quarters. All right, all right, but let's do the same thing again. If I don't like quarters, let's multiply the top and the bottom each by four, and nothing changes. Multiply that by four, multiply that by four. What do I get? Uh, 23 times four, that's 20 times four and three times four, that's really 80 and 12, so that's really 92 on the top. Uh, 15 gets multiplied by four, 60, plus nine fourths times four. Four times that, uh, Bing Bo just using this idea, that's just nine. Terrible handwriting, sorry, but I think it turns out to be 92 60 nights. Please double check me. So, sharing seven and two thirds pies equally amongst five and three quarters stu students is apparently equivalent to, to sharing 92 pies equally amongst 69 students. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I have a little bit more of a feel for that than I do for that. Still, it's pretty nasty, but now at least it looks simpler and friendlier. Great. All right, in fact, I think that's just revealed how to do division of fractions. Because really this looks like parts of mixed numbers. Let's just do the one that I put on the board to begin with. All right, so that's a division problem. A fraction is an answer to division problem. So let me write this as a fraction. This is 2 thirds on the numerator and 5 sevenths on the denominator. I've got mentions of thirds. I don't like it. Let's actually multiply top and bottom by 3. That won't actually change anything. By brief number 4, it's the same quantity. 
Now I'm being speedy here, but I can see eh, eh, there's going to be two on the top. And oh, I guess I don't have any going on here. I guess I have to use uh, multiply a fraction by something. The numerator gets multiplied. To triple the number of pies per student, triple the number of pies. 15 sevenths. All right, now what happens? Oh, sevenths. I don't like sevenths on the bottom. Well, the way to handle that is multiply top and bottom by seven. And I see this is 14 on the top and I see uh, 15 on the bottom. Two thirds divided by five sevenths is 14 fifteenths. Beautiful, I just divided fractions. Bingo. My advice is just write it out as a fraction notation and use common sense to make your life easier and you'll get an easier answer. In fact, let me do this abstractly. Let me do this abstractly. Let's work out a general rule, not that I ever want to memorize it because I just say just do it and things will fall into place, but A beats divided by C deaths. All right, let's work it out. A fraction is an answer to division problem, so let me write this as a fraction. A, B on the top, C over D on the bottom. Okay, abstractly, I don't like beats, so let me multiply by B. It won't change anything, it won't change anything. Actually, I know I don't like deets as well, so I know I'm going to multiply by D later on. Let me be sneaky and multiply by D right now. It's being also multiplied by D, also multiplied by D. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. All right, so but, but what I like about that, I see right here, B times AB is part of the top. So this part is A, still times D on the top. And this part, I know I can rearrange the order of things, it's just multiplication is associative and commutative and all that. Um, this has really got uh, B times uh, D times C over D, uh, which I know up this rule as just C. D's cancel out. So this is actually AD times BC. So if you want to memorize a general rule, please don't memorize a general rule, there it is. The, mul the product, the division of two fractions is given by that formula. Wow. But like I said, it really is easier just to take the extra 15 seconds and write it out. For example, one half divided by one third. If I really had to work that out on pencil and paper in my everyday life, or we'll see it in my brain, or whatever, however I do it, I really truly do think this. I really truly think I don't like the twos, let's multiply by two. I don't like the thirds, let's multiply by three. What happens as a result? I can see, and I know I can reorder the multiplications. Two times a half is one, so I see one times three on the top. I see three times a third there, that's going to be uh, one. One times two on the bottom, I see this is really three halves. Beautiful. So my advice is don't memorize any rule for dividing fractions. Just do it and do the common sense. Follow your fabulous mind, follow your fabulous instincts, follow your nose. You will get there in the end. It's beautiful stuff.